The title of this episode could refer to Francis or Mori, just because Will of Tycoon, aka, you know, super rich businessman, that sort of ideology. But I don't think Fukuzawa is like insanely rich onto the levels of Mori Ugai and Francis Scott Fitzgerald. So I'm very curious what this is about. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Bungo Stray Dogs, season three, episode or season two, excuse me, episode seven. Almost confused you guys for a second. Confused myself all the time. Like I said, Will of Tycoon. Very curious about how this is going to end because the Port Mafia very smartly have I don't want to say cornered, but definitely initiated a cl potential clash between the guild and the ADA. So very curious how that's gonna work out. We have Naomi and the other office workers who are non-gifted as like hostage, potential innocent casualties. So don't want anything to happen to them, but I'm very nervous as well because in terms of, I think both power and numbers, the ADA is at a disadvantage against the guild and the um, Port Mafia. So very nervous for our boys, even though I love them. So I, I don't know. I'm just so curious. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length of this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are down in the description down below for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much, much appreciated. Bungo Stray Dogs, Season 2, Episode 7, Will of Tycoon. Let's do this. Oh, do they know something's up? So they're trying to get out of here as quick as possible? They probably got a call. This is John in Lovecraft. His, had, his ability had something to do with great. What the hell? No wonder he loves being on the countryside and farming. This is literally insane. What what do those graves do though? He can access the the roots and the vines and every other found them. Oh my god, what the hell? He can control like greenery and nature. At least, the very least, from the roots he created on his. That's so not what I was expecting at all. Yep. That's super strong in certain situations and areas. Really? That's a little crazy, but I understand them. Tanizaki is here. Ooh, and Kurikita, offensive team A. Yeah, get them vines out of here. True. True. Good observations. Ooh, nice shots. Also, John would know how other people who fight against him would try to fight against him. Kunikita is also one step ahead. Dopo Poet, what are you making? Ooh, secondary pistol, blocka, blocka. Clean with it. Turn that right back around on you. Ooh. That was actually so sick. This man is literally a zombie. He literally is like H.P. Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft, I know, was known for making these alien-like, underwater-like, soup, like, inventing that whole genre, pretty much. That literally looks like a Lovecraftian creature. Yeah, 
You do not want to say that to Tanizaki. Oh, hell no. He's making it, he's doing the light snow to make it seem like they're not even there. Yup. <laughs> that is actually such a dope way to use light snow. Shouts out to fucking Tani Zaki. The driver's just like, what the fuck happened? I was just on the road. I hope everything works out, like... What the fuck is that little thing? What the hell? Her eyes are so unique and creepy. What the fuck is that doll? Yen, yep, from the Black Lizard Squad. Higushi. I was about to say, after what we saw in the last few episodes, I would hope not. Wait, is Gin a girl? I had no idea. I always thought Gin was a boy. Note to self. Okay. With a sweet, lovely voice. If Desai has that face, then you know it's serious. Hiyu. Probably the easiest name I've had to write down in the show so far. Oh, what the fuck? That's horrible. Oh. He was a boy. Mind control. What the? F what the? I hate how like it's like bleed. She's bleeding out of her eyes. Yeah, knock her out for her own safety. And then Naomi's also- Oh, this is the creepiest shit I have ever seen. That's why the doll rips himself in half. That's why- Okay. In order to be a receiver, you must hurt Q, so I'm assuming that's why Q has the razor blade, so if you bump into him, you've hurt him. So now you are receiver, and then once the doll rips itself like it does, the destruction of the doll turns the receivers into the mind control. So that's why... Oh my god, this is so creepy. Atsushi as well, because he bumped into him as well. Oh no, they! I so, oh, I got mind fucked. I, they, I thought they were, but no, it's Atsushi with the hallucinations of it. Oh my god, this is mind fucking me. Atsushi's choking these women out. Yes. Oh, this little fucking baby doll laugh is the creepiest thing ever. Sometimes you need just a good slap and to wake you out of whatever you're thinking. Like a proper senpai. Okay. Let's let's turn the tables a little bit. 
Early next morning. Apprentice, Luisa, ability the little woman. Did that cue you? Still have her imprisoned here? We never saw their finished conversation. Which agent? Tanada? Ongo? Is that Ongo? That sounds like Ongo. Ooh. Ooh. Money and power will do. God damn. Oh, they're about to get the fuck ran into them. This, this season has been nuts so far. Oh my, talk about nuts! That was worth like 10 grand, but the bounty placed on you 7 bill. Yeah, they were trying to get the Port Mafia to capture Atsushi the entire time. Francis could have done it himself in half a second. Kyoka out of nowhere. Is this going to be Kyoka versus Francis? What is this season? This shit is crazy. All I can say is, oh my lord, is this season popping off. Like, I, oh my god, there's so much shit going down. It started off with John's crazy power, which by the way, super dope. Super dope. Very weird looking, but very powerful. Especially if you're on the countryside, stuff like that. Oh, that's, and I, I wonder... Because the ability name he has has grapes in the title, so I wonder if it only works with grapes or if it works with all wildlife. Because he does carry a sack of grape seeds, and he says grapes are very particular because they like cycle their roots into others and like become like a network type system. So he's able to share his feelings with them and his senses and all that. I, I wonder if it's only grapes or he could do that with other plants in nature as well but grapes just happen to be the best because of how they entangle themselves with other wildlife that's that's something i want to know very curious lovecraft's power literally just hp lovecraft to a t literally he just comes up with these crazy lovecraftian be i need to read more of his stories i love those type of crazy mind bending mind fuck type stories i really need to read more i oh i can't wait till i have more time and i can start reading again but started out with that and then we were able to get naomi and uh, haruno out of there only to be intercepted by q on the train that was a whole thing in and of itself that was horrifyingly terrifyingly horrible and then they were barely able to get out of that i thought that i i literally was like oh no they got what's going on but i got mind fucked just like atsushi got mind fucked does i come in to save the day and then Q was like, don't worry, I will I will break you. Oh, that's fucking terrifying. And then Desai made a deal with QU to take to bring back Kyoka so she will be out of the picture for now at the very least, which is nice because she's also very strong and very scary. Only for Francis to jump Atsushi at the end there, who's also very powerful and very scary to the where the were tiger couldn't even do anything against him. Which I'm very curious, now that he actually has him, or at least is about to take him, I assume, I'm very curious why he has such a bounty on him. Like, I was like, oh, maybe if he was so powerful, you know, it would make sense why you'd want a power like that on the uh, for the guild. But, like, he's, like, Francis himself seems way more powerful, way stronger. So I'm very curious why they put a 7 billion yen bounty on Atsushi. I need to know more answers, and I need to see Kyoka pop Francis' head off with that demon snow. This shit is going down. I am loving it. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Don't forget to follow all the social medias. Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much, much, much appreciated, you guys. 
Don't forget to drink some water, be safe, tell someone you love them. Have a great day. Peace out, Dapper Squad.